2000. And Republicans are for everyone. But what do real Americans think? Well, to take the pulse of the people, we check in with our man in Charlotte, Keith Larson, host of The Keith Larson Show on News Talk 1110. Keith, great to see you today. Hey, Shannon. All right, tell us about what you're hearing from your listeners, because we know what it sounds like being debated inside the Beltway. What does it sound like outside the Beltway? Well, you know, we are becoming a nation of Pauls, Shannon, the robbing of Peter to pay Paul, and the Pauls are winning. And, and this week, what I wanted to do was tap into and see how much of this class warfare populism that the president's relying on uh, is really resonating with the American people. So we were asking callers uh, to tell us their income level for last year, and then should the tax cuts be extended for everybody or just people, uh, you know, below certain income levels? And I know you've got some uh, clips of the callers keep the tax cuts for everybody or raise the taxes on the wealthy? I'd say keep the tax cuts for everybody. You know, a couple things about that. I never got a job from a poor man. I say keep the tax cuts for everybody and also give the uh, top 10% tier a, a bit of a break. So you, at $18,000 as an individual, David, you say keep the tax cuts for everybody. Yes, I, I need customers who have money. I'm never going to be that wealthy, either, so this one will never affect me. So that's the uh, me being selfish. But uh, the uh, the richer people could uh, could share a larger burden. And Scott, how did you vote in the last election? Republican. Really? Republican, born and raised. So you're a Republican Marxist. <laughs> Yeah, Keith, I, I like your characterization. Not sure I've ever heard that before, Republican Marxist. Well, you know, he, he didn't like that, but the fact of the matter is, and Shannon, that guy made $100,000 last year, and he said, hey, they have more. That's never going to be me. They can afford to take it. And, and to take people just because they have more and give it to others just because they need it, I'm sorry, but that's Marxist. All right, do you think that uh, folks out there, or did you get a sense that they think, regardless of how you actually feel about the tax cuts, that everybody's playing politics, election year politics, with the issue? Oh, gosh, uh, absolutely, and, and especially, as I said, the class warfare aspect. But the thing that was heartening is that most people, Shannon, uh, said extend the tax cuts for everybody. They know it's the right thing to do, and especially people under $100,000 and down to, you heard the $18,000 guy, under $100,000 unanimously said extend the tax cuts for everybody. All right. Now, you are one of the folks who stays in regular contact with Alvin Green, the man who is vying against Senator Jim DeMint, who has been in the news quite a bit this week uh, for backing a number of successful Tea Party candidates. Uh, Alvin's challenging him. He wants to get to the Senate here. There he is dancing in the studio with you, although we didn't really get to see you dancing. I don't know if that happened and the camera just didn't happen to come over. Um, what's the latest with Alvin this week? Uh, yeah, sorry, you missed out on me dancing in the studio. Uh, we talked to Alvin this week again. Story came out from a newspaper in Columbia, South Carolina, his Air Force records, and why the Air Force would not grant him a full honorable discharge, reasons like he takes too long a lunch, uh, his room is messy. Oh, yeah, and by the way, they couldn't envision sending him uh, off to combat. And so we asked Alvin about some of that. They say you were taking too long for lunch, Alvin. Were you taking too long for lunch? Uh, uh, no, I, I, that didn't happen all the time. And um, like I said, they, the supervisors weren't doing their job. And like I said, they were preferential treatment. And uh, So just sometimes like I, on the too long of lunch. You didn't take a too long of lunch all the time. Uh, no, I mean, things like that. It didn't happen um, all the time. Just and, sometimes. Um, and, but like I said, there's nitpicking, and um, you know that's nitpicky. You know that's a nitpicky. They're picking issue. nits. <laughs> picking nits. That can lead to discharge in some cases. It's nitpicky, Shannon. You know, uh, there have been chuckles with Alvin as we've talked with him, and he's gone from man of mystery to enigma. Uh, and he's got a sense of humor at times, but the fact is there are real oddities and questions about this guy, uh, possibly even some darker side issues that he doesn't want to speak to, and yet he wants to be taken seriously. He's going to have to answer to all of this if he wants to be considered as anything other than just a, a whack job or a novelty. All right, Keith, we thank you for always giving us new updates on Alvin and many other issues. Great to check <laughs> in with you. Have a wonderful Sunday. Sure, you too, Shannon. Well, a feisty congressional race is shaping up in Virginia's 2nd District as freshman Democrat Glenn Nye tries to hold on to a seat by